these men deserve the maximum sentence for their crimes. Ahmad never said a word to them. He never threatened them. He just wanted to be left alone. They were fully committed to their crimes. Let them be fully committed for the consequences. Ahmaud Arbery's grieving mother delivering an emotional victim impact statement Friday in Georgia before the three men convicted in her son's murder were sentenced to life in prison, two of them with no chance of parole. As to Travis McMichael, life without the possibility of parole. Greg McMichael, life without the possibility of parole. Roddy Bryan, I do want to separate. He had grave concerns that what had occurred should not have occurred. And I think that does make Mr. Bryan's situation a little bit different. However, Mr. Bryan has been convicted. The court sentences Mr. Bryan to uh, life with the possibility of parole. That decision handed down after the court heard heartbreaking Good accounts morning. from Arbery's family. Ahmad was funny. He told jokes to lighten the mood because he was a positive thinker. The loss of Ahmad has devastated me and my family. My heart is broken and always will be broken. Three white men, Travis McMichael, his father Gregory, and their neighbor William Roddy Bryant were found guilty in November. In pickup trucks, they chased down the unarmed 25-year-old black man who was jogging through their neighborhood, shooting him dead almost two years ago. Arbery's killing bringing protesters to the streets as part of the Black Lives Matter movement. Justice for Ahmaud Arbery. Justice for Ahmaud Arbery. Today, your son has made history because we have people who are being held accountable for lynching a black man in America. Lawyers for the three convicted men say they do plan to appeal and all three men face another trial on separate federal hate crime charges next month. Melissa Duggan, City News.